All right, let's turn to uh, the third narrative bomb that's dropped. Uh, I, wanted, I want us to think about how the author really brings us to this point. Um, what? All right, well, we'll start with this on Monday. Uh, I want you guys to remember to do an SQA on part three. Make it good. Have great weekends. Hey, Sean, do you have practice today? Nah, coach is giving us the weekend off. Why? You guys need all the practice you can get. Remember the championship? <laughs> yeah, you keep reminding me. All right, so before we walk home, I have to pick my little brother up from middle school. Okay, me and Sean will meet you in the trail. All right, sounds good. See you then. See ya. Man, that's one weird looking rock. Wow, yeah. It looks kind of bloody. Guys, what is that? What the? Oh my gosh! He's dead. Do you know who this is? No. What do we do? We should call the police. We can't get caught up in this. Are you kidding? If we call the police, we will get caught up in this. What if they think we did this? What if whoever did this is still out there? Well, all the more reason to leave right now. Guys, we can't just leave him here. Michael's right, Sean. There's still a murder out there. We have to find him. I said we couldn't leave him here. Not go look for the psycho with a gun. He didn't have a gun. Look, he's right. There's blood pulled around his head and his skull's indented. It must have been that rock we found on the trail. Yeah, and that helps us a ton. It does! It proves that he doesn't have a gun. That's three of us against one guy. Yeah, one guy with only, you know, murderous tendencies. Guys, come on, we have no idea what's going on. We need to call the police. We can't go to the police, they'll take too long. This is still fairly fresh. We need to find this guy while we still have a chance. And do what? What are we gonna do once we capture this freak, huh? Time up to a tree, say we found a dead body in the woods with some suspicious guy whom we beat up and forced a confession out of. Do you know how crazy that sounds? In case you guys have forgotten, there's a dead body right there. We need to call the police. The longer we do nothing, the harder it will be for us to prove anything. And I agree with Sean. What if we do find this guy? What are we gonna do with him? We can't just let a murderer get away with this. Yes, I agree with that too, which is why we should call the police. No, this looks bad enough as it is. We need to walk away. Look, if we leave now, the police will find him eventually. Yeah, but the killer will be long gone. We should call them now while the killer's fairly close. Still, they might not get here in time. Thomas. Not now, Andrew. It's important. All right. All right, Andrew, what is it? Last night, I was coming through these woods and I, I think I saw it happen. What? I was coming home from baseball practice and I heard people shouting way off the trail. It scared me, so I ran away. But as I was leaving, I saw somebody else leaving in the opposite direction. Who was it? I think it was Sean. What? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Andrew, you can't be pretty sure. You have to be absolutely sure. Uh, I'm sure. It was him. He couldn't have. He's just coming home from practice like you were. He dropped a rock, Thomas. Andrew, stay here. But- Just do it. What was that about? Just kind of shaking up, you know. Dead body and all. I think we all are. Yeah. I still say we should just leave him. You would say that, wouldn't you? What? Sean, what were you doing last night? Funny you should ask. No, you killed him? Why? The championship game. I remember now. This was the catcher. Is this what this was for? Just revenge? Nah. I threw the game on purpose. I made a deal with the other team that I could lose it for him. And I did it. I made it happen. And I made a lot of money. Enough to get over disappointing the team, the fans, heck, even the whole town. And nobody would have known. Nobody but the catcher. He knew the pitches were coming in soft. He knew I wasn't trying. He found out about my deal and wouldn't let me live it down. He wouldn't understand. All I need is my secret kept. You guys can talk if you want, I'm right here. What do we do? Can't do anything. He'll give you stuck in jail for the rest of his life. We have to just let this blow over. Thomas, how about the dead guy and his family? How do you think his family's gonna feel knowing that the killer of their son is out there? He's our friend. We can't lock him up. 
He killed the guy. That's all I can say. We should just call the police. This is way over our heads. Yeah. Let's do it. No. No, you, you can't do this. I thought you'd understand. You have to understand. No! <laughs> Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Nice shot. What should we do with him, Thomas? I don't know. The Sean and I was friends, so we would never do this. It's like I don't even know him anymore. No. His neck's broken. But the sense is everything. This is over. The catcher gets justice. Sean doesn't go to jail. Look, I know this is sad, but we don't have to worry anymore. I wish that were true, Andrew. What are we gonna tell the police? The truth. We were walking in the woods, found two dead bodies. One of them was our friend. Let's go.